Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. Ah, here we go. Right, it's time for a new update, and you know what that means. It means the shit's hit the fan, as always. So if you've seen the title, you know what's going to happen. And a lot of you are going, ha, knew that shit was coming. Well, you're right, it did. And yes, I am out of retro collecting for good, once and for all, never going back. No bullshit. That's, this is it, I'm done. So yes, I have sold a lot of my retro stuff. It's gone already. Some to YouTubers, a lot of it's gone on eBay. I've got a couple of things left to go. The TV itself is actually going this time, which didn't happen in the previous attempt in 2016. But yes, the TV is most definitely going. Uh, I've sold it. Bloke's picking it up on Saturday. It's now Tuesday. So I've got a few days to go. He couldn't come this weekend because of the snow. So we had to put it off for a week. But yes, he's coming to pick that TV up, which is awesome. So the CRT is going. Now, of course, you all know that I made a video in 2016 called Closing the Door on Retro Game Collecting, where I actually walked away. And at that time, in June of 2016, it was the right thing for me. Mental health was suffering. I didn't have a lot of money and I was just getting really overwhelmed with the whole collecting thing and going back and forth, back and forth and just getting completely pissed off. And I walked away and it was the best thing I did. Great choice at the time. Great decision even. And, you know, a year later, I moved house and I was in a better mental place. Uh, I was more comfortable and I just felt like I wanted to get back into it. So I did. And of course, you know, you've seen the videos I've posted since I've been living here and I've done pickup videos and it's been great. And I've really enjoyed it. And I've sat here and I've played loads of games and I've had loads of fun with it. And I've thoroughly enjoyed the Super Nintendo and the Mega Drive. Brilliant systems, of course. But honestly, in the last like month or so, the interest in collecting, not the gaming, but the collecting, has just completely gone. And I'm assuming that's probably down to the fact that I did have a year off. And I got to the point in that year where it didn't really come to me at all. I never had the, the desire to get into collecting right up until I'd moved house and then I felt like, you know, now's the time. But prior to that, I've just there was just nothing there. And I think that's what's done it. And it's, it's sort of stayed with me, but I haven't realised it. And, you know, I mean, it is what it is. It's just games, you know. <laughs> people make a big deal out of this. And, yes, I understand when people will leave comments like they're going to leave on this video and say, are you okay? Yes, I'm absolutely fine, honestly. I'm, I'm doing so much better these days than I have in the last four years. So thank you very much. I, I actually really want to thank everybody that leaves those kind of comments on these videos, and in particular the last one in 2016. I've had some fantastic people on YouTube leave brilliant comments and been so supportive, and I really do appreciate it a lot. It means a lot to me. Um, obviously, I'm going to get dickhead comments, but you just ignore them because they are dickheads, and anonymous dickheads at that, so whatever. They don't matter, they're not important. My friends are more important than those twats. So that is what it is. Yeah, I've sold everything. A couple of things left. Uh, they'll be going hopefully soon. Someone will have those off me uh, once I get some decent offers because people are being dicks as usual. But there you go, it's eBay for you. <laughs> so yeah, that's really what's happening. I uh, just wanted to let you know where I'm at. I'm, I'm in a much better place now. I feel great about it. I don't really regret doing this at all. And the, the main thing now is obviously the channel, what's going to happen next. And the focus is going to still be gaming. I, I could have just closed the channel and given up. But I don't want to do that because I actually enjoy being on YouTube. I enjoy interacting with you guys. I've made a lot of good friends outside of YouTube, from YouTube, you know, and, you know, I still maintain those relationships to, to today, you know, and I've got good close friends, you know, like Alex Blue Tonic 78 and Retro Dave Nintendo are two of my absolute closest friends, they're absolutely great guys. There's Jay Cybersnake 7, there's Daz Cajonas Deloro, Adam Shock 16, Adam 16 Bit Brit, and Gashead Steve. You know, and the list goes on. There's some absolutely fantastic people. And people I've never met, like Craig is here again, who's such a nice guy, always positive, leaves fantastic comments. Minx36, another Craig, another great guy. And, you know, you just go on and on and on. There's so many great people. And really, really being on YouTube has been a, a fantastic experience up until this point. You know, despite all the ups and downs and the, the collecting and not collecting, the buying and selling and buying and selling, all that bullshit. Besides all that, you know, you know the friendships that I've made uh, it's really the reason that I've enjoyed YouTube so much and it's what makes making videos worthwhile you know all the interactions even if I don't really know you that well and I just talk to you in the comments that is great because I get so much positivity in those comments so thank you guys I really do appreciate it so yes the channel will continue the channel will be a gaming channel as always but of course it's not going to be retro anymore sort of <laughs> but for the most part it is going to be modern gaming so we're talking last gen ps3 xbox 360 uh we as well i suppose and current gen of course ps4 xbox one and switch so if that's not your bag and you want to unsub unsubscribe totally understand because you don't want a load of videos in your feed that you're not going to watch i'm the same 
as a viewer, so I totally get that. But if you do decide to stick around, I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys, because you know, uh, yeah, you've supported me really well and I've done quite well with this channel. The subscribe count is way more than I could have ever expected when I started in 2009. I, I never would have thought I'd get nearly 5,000 subscribers. It's just absolute insanity. So, you know, it's just little old me just sitting on a, on a chair just talking shit to a camera for, for about eight years now. And, you know, there's people that are watching me that have watched me since the beginning, which blows my mind. So, yeah, I must be doing something right. <laughs> but, yeah, as I said, it will be mainly modern gaming, but there may be some retro. And the reason for that is because, obviously, I'm not collecting anymore, but I still wanted to be able to play the old SNES game. Now, for years, and this is going to... I'm going to get such a bollock in for this, but... For years, I've had so many different people leave comments going, why don't you use emulation? Why don't you use, um, what's that bloody thing called there? Uh, the one you put the cartridge in the machine. Oh, shit, I forgot what it's called. Anyway, you know what I mean, don't you? The thing with the little SD card. So, yeah, and, you know, I've always got, no, it's not for me, it's not my thing, or why don't you get a retron and all this, that, and the other. So, <laughs> yeah, what I've decided to do in order to play Super Nintendo games, because I really want to play Super Nintendo games when I get the urge, you know, and to not have all the commitments of all the cash tied up and everything. It's going to be pretty obvious what I've done, isn't it? So I'll just get to the point. And I picked up recently the SNES Mini. So yeah, I never thought I'd buy one of these things. Because this and the NES Mini did nothing for me. You know, I've always been hardcore. Retro gaming is CRT only. It's the only way to go. RGB SCART, the purest of the purest. And, you know, that is the best way to play retro games on the original system. With the original hardware and software. With a CRT and a beautiful RGB cable from RetroGamingCables.co.uk, that's the way to go. But this has actually surprised me. It's actually quite decent. I'm not not disappointed at all. I've only played a few games on it so far. Had a good blast on Star Fox, of course. Played a bit of Mario World, a bit of Donkey Kong Country, some Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, I mean, it's got most of my favourite games on here. I am going to mod it at some point because there's a lot of games I want to get on there. I really want to get Torrican. and I want to play Super Torrican 2 as well properly because I've only ever played it on emulator. And it, it, it wasn't good because I had to use it. I think I was using an Xbox controller, which is bloody awful to play it. So yes, I want to do that. I want to mod it and get the games on there. But yeah, it's actually pretty decent so far. So when I say that there may be a bit of retro in the future, that'll be if I manage to work out this capture situation because it's a bloody minefield. If I can find a capture device that I like and is easy to use and don't need to be tethered to a PC, and uh, is not mega expensive, then I'll pick one up and I'll be able to do some gameplay video. I've obviously got to figure out what's going on with the copyright situation and that. I've watched a couple of videos to try and get some idea. And apparently, if you just put the gameplay up, you'll get done for copyright. But if you put the gameplay up and you do the thing that most people do, where you put your little face in the corner and talk while you're playing the game, which is, of course, what you guys are want from me, because in the old days, that's what I used to always do, just talk over the camera. So, yeah, if, apparently if you do that, you're all right with copyright. We'll wait and see. So, yeah, got the, the old SNES Mini. Fantastic stuff. So, what I'm going to do next, I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what systems I've actually got at the moment. Uh, in terms of what's going to be on the channel going forward. So first up is going to be this hulking beast, which I've got to try and lift without killing myself. The PS3. So I've got a PS3 Slim. What's it? Which one is it? Oh yeah, 160 gigabyte. So yeah, still a great console. Still one of my absolute favourite systems. And my favourite system of last gen as well. 360 is a great console, but I always come back to the PS3. The PS3 is just... Awesome. It's just so many great games on that system, and uh, I just love everything about it. I love the XMB, I love the controller more than the Xbox controller, which will make people go, What the hell? But I just always have. I like the fact, even though most people criticize it for having a very light controller and very plasticky, I prefer that. I just, I don't know, it just feels nicer to me. So, yeah, I've got PS3. Uh, coming up to modern stuff, we have got the, the, the Jesus Christ, I can't even get this in the camera, am I? PS4 Pro. So, I've got the old 4K on the go ish yeah a bit of card on the back there so yeah i quite like the pro i mean i'll be honest with you because of all the retro stuff the, the modern stuff has really been neglected so i haven't got a whole lot of games at the moment so that's going to be rectified i'm going to get some new games and start playing things i haven't actually bloody played because i'm playing the same games over and over again i'm currently playing mafia 3 on playstation i've played it before on xbox so yeah, i'm actually really enjoying that i got it for christmas and it's a cracking game really enjoy that a lot but, you know, I usually just end up playing Bloody Uncharted 4 again. For like, I've played it like five times so far. I'm on a sixth playthrough at the moment. So I need something fresh and different. The problem I'm finding is trying to find something I actually want to play. Because, uh, was it Horizon Zero Dawn? Just I just don't know about that game. I don't trust the developer. And everyone raves about it. And then I see some people saying that, like me, they weren't sure about playing it. And everyone was raving about it. So they gave it a try and they thought it was crap. So 
<laughs> I don't know. I just think Guerrilla Games haven't got a good track record for me personally. I find their games incredibly boring to play. Um, you know, we'll wait and see. I might try it eventually when it's cheap enough, which it probably is by now. So yes, got a PS4 Pro, and of course I have indeed got possibly the best system this generation so far, the Nintendo Switch. I absolutely love this little beauty. Brilliant little system. Again, I don't have too many games for it at the moment. I need to get some more. Currently, I've got Mario Odyssey, which I absolutely adore. That game is just so brilliant. And I have the Ultra Street Fighter 2 as well, because I had to, because it's Street Fighter 2. And I just started, actually, the other day, I got the demo for Kirby Star Allies, which is out, I think, in a week's time. Man, that game is fantastic. I've never played a Kirby game. The graphics, it's got these beautiful parallax graphics, and it's so colourful and so much fun. And it kind of felt a bit like Mega Twins on the Amiga, weirdly. But I really, really enjoyed it a lot. And it's even got the strange thing on the demo, it's got a tree boss like in Castle Evolution. But I thought it was a fantastic game, so I'm really looking forward to playing the full version. And there's a few Switch games I still haven't played. I want to try Splatoon 2. There was, uh, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to get Mario Kart Deluxe. Or maybe, we'll wait and see. There was a couple of others I noticed. They've got Shantae's coming out in April as a physical release. I'm definitely picking that up because I've heard many good things. And I watched the Happy Console Gamer, Johnny, a while ago, said how much he loved that game. And I thought, you know what, that looks right on my street. So that's a definite buy. And then there's other games coming out. There's a new Yoshi game coming out. And obviously we've got E3 around the corner in June, so who knows what's going to be announced for all of the systems. Now, you would of course know that I do not have an Xbox One. No, I sold that a long time ago. But, of course, now all this is gone, yes, the Xbox will come back into my collection at some point. I've been on the fence about getting back into the Xbox One, I'll be perfectly honest. I want the X. If I'm going to buy one, it's got to be the Xbox One X. The only issue I've had is the fact that they've got sod all exclusives. They're just relying on the same franchises over and over again. And every year at E3, I hope that they're going to come out strong and film's going to go, oh, we've got all these amazing new exclusives, done all these deals with these developers, and it never happens. But I'm hoping it's going to happen. But I want one because I've looked at all the videos now and I've looked at all the comparisons and the, the gameplay comparisons, the hardware comparisons, and there is a definite difference when this hardware is used. And they seem to be using it quite a bit on the game. They're not doing what we expected where they would just, you know, port it from the PS4. They seem to be making a bit of an effort here. So we'll wait and see. But then I want to get it for third party games. I also need to finish Gears of War 4 because I never managed to finish it when I had it last time. Uh, I sold my Xbox before I finished it, which is a shame. I really enjoyed Gears of War 4. Brilliant game. So yeah, that's it really, guys. So there you go. I've got the PS3, the PS4, the Switch. I'll get an Xbox One X at some point. And then from then on, this channel, as I say, will be modern gaming. So I do apologise to all the retro fans out there, but there is the SNES Mini. So if I can get a capture and I can get that thing modded, We'll go ahead and I'll do some gameplays and do the old face in the corner camera thing and chat shit over the top of it for you because I enjoy doing that. And I know gameplays have disappeared from my channel because I wasn't able to film them anymore. And I really do actually miss doing those because they're always they're easy to make and they're really fun as well. And you always get a good reaction from people with those videos. So yes, gameplays will come back at some point, hopefully. Uh, I'll just say they will come back, not hopefully, because that sounds like I'm not going to do it. But my plan is to find a decent capture. If you know a decent capture device that's portable, you don't have to connect to a PC, you can just, oh and also that you can connect a microphone if you want to put this on there. So I don't have to separate it all up for editing, it'd be a lot easier if I can just do it in one box and then just add the video of me, that'd be a lot easier. But if you know of anything that you can recommend that's a reasonable price, like sub 200 quid, because I don't want to spend tons of money, please let me know in the comments down below, really appreciate it guys. And yes, there'll be that, there'll be the retro game gaming uh, gameplays, I, I might do modern gameplays, I don't know, because I probably would definitely get copyright strike. I mean, Christ, Nintendo would be all over me for that. So if anyone knows if you can actually do it and not get grief, then let me know and how to do it, and I will do that as well. Because obviously the PlayStation and the Xbox, well, I think the Xbox, anyway, you can do it, you can just do it straight away with the share button on the PlayStation, can't you? So that's pretty cool. But if you want to edit your face in and that, you have to have a PlayStation camera, so I'd probably just capture it and just do my own camera anyway. Yeah, so we're going to have gameplays. We're going to have pickups, of course. Any new games that come out, I'll be picking them up. I'm going to go back to doing what I used to do when I used to do impression videos where I used to talk about the game when I finished it. Haven't done those in a long time. Those will definitely come back. And obviously, I'm going to do, start doing the, the... I did do E3 last year. I can't even remember if I did it. I've got a feeling I didn't, but I might have done. Not sure. Obviously, that'll come up. I'll be doing, doing the E3 coverage because I love doing that. And people who enjoy those videos always give me great feedback. So that's really appreciated. And of course, don't forget, I will also be doing the Asnes series of videos. So if you do have any questions for me, guys, there aren't many on the last Asnes video, so just search through my videos 
find the last episode of Ash Snares and leave me a question about absolutely anything. Cheers. And of course, if you guys have got any, I mean, I, I'm a bit out of the loop, so I'm trying to catch up now, but if there's any stories that come out in the modern gaming era, era, arena, yeah, arena, if any, whatever, if any news, any news stories come out that interest you that aren't RPG related, because I know i all about RPGs, then yeah, let me know if you, that's something you'd like me to do to comment on it and give my opinion, because I don't mind doing that. That's quite cool. I've done a couple of those in the past, but you know, I've never really made a big deal out of it because my channel's always been retro for the main part, isn't it? So there you go. Thank you very much for watching, guys. And if there are any suggestions you have for videos you'd like to see on the channel, just to give me some ideas, let me know in the comments, as always. Uh, don't give me too much shit in the back of the retro because, you know, it is what it is. I know most of you won't. Most of you will just take the piss and have a laugh about it, which is great, and that's what I appreciate and expect. Uh, as for the anonymous people, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.